doing some experiments on 23 centimeter reception. You might remember a video I did maybe two or three years ago where I came to this very site to receive signals from the VK3 RX beacon situated in Burwood, east of Melbourne. Anyway, that beacon apparently has an antenna that beams west, so here I am a few kilometres west to try and receive the beacon. I did have success with an earlier dongle that I owned, it was a very cheap one, it drifted a lot in frequency and you might even remember that I was able to even receive it in a train. I didn't have a very good antenna then, I was just using the standard telescopic whip that these cheap things come with, but I've since upgraded things a bit. I've got the RTLSDR.com which is a much better dongle and an improved receive antenna. Not sure the correct name, but it's basically a double loop. Two square quad loops in parallel. These have a feed point impedance of 100 ohm each, so you put them in parallel and you get 50 ohm. Plus, you get a bit more gain than with a single loop. So, for a very simple 23 centimeter antenna, just bend up a bit of wire. It's about six centimeters per side. Uh, there's some exact dimensions in the references that I'll give in the video description. But anyway, it seems to work very well. Even though it's less than a meter above the ground, I'm getting quite a strong signal from the beacon. And I've also got a screen that I've made of aluminium foil. I might try that later on. Anyway, details on the VK1 NAM website or blog. I'll have a link in the video description. Hopefully this is clear enough to show the connections. I've made it from a single piece of copper wire. The ends are where my thumb is. I've just soldered them to the mounting prongs of an SMA socket and the middle connection goes to the other side of the two loops and I've just used a short piece of wire just to solder that and join it. Not ideal, I should preferably bring it closer into the middle because even a few millimetres or even a millimetre does affect performance on 23 centimetres. Though for receiving this is probably okay. As for polarisation This is vertically polarised, almost gone. You might have noticed before, the frequency display I had was way off. 1296.561 or thereabouts. I'm going to assume the beacon is right on frequency 1296.530. So I've got it in upper sideband 1296.529. And I've done that just by opening up the settings and in particular the frequency correction. I had it way, way off for some reason. But anyway, I've put it down to minus one and that seems to be okay. This is about the best that I've got it. I've got the reflector in, made out of kitchen aluminium foil, propped up with the help of the handheld, which is about all it's good for on 23 centimeters, as you'll soon discover. And the spacing is about two or three centimeters between the element and the reflector. This is without the reflector. It's 
with the reflector. As a comparison, just trying the handheld standard antenna. Still on the handheld antenna. Might be a little bit of difference with the foil screen, slightly better. Now back to what we started with, definitely a much, much stronger reception. Probably at least 10 dB better. Not a testament to how good this antenna is, but more how bad this one is on 23 centimeters. But it wasn't designed for it anyway. Just in case you can't see it, the antenna's right here. The main reason for coming out here was to test the 23cm receive capabilities of the Klungshin UVK5 with the IJV 3.13 firmware. I've got the double loop antenna screwed directly into the antenna socket and I tuned a wide frequency range just in case it was off frequency and nothing at all received. Even from this site, which given the results that we had before with the USB, would be a good receiving location for 23 centimeters for the VK3 RX beacon. So don't bother using this as a receiver on 23 centimeters. It's just not usable at all. With such good reception at Hawthorne, the last place that I did the test of receiving VK3 RX. I'm now in the Melbourne CBD. Flagstaff Gardens, which as its name suggests, is one of the higher points in the city. Uh, don't have a particularly direct view. And I haven't even added the reflector yet. I'm moving it that way, I'm bouncing it off one of the buildings. There we are, bouncing it off that, and that's giving a much stronger reception than if I was to aim it more directly. Uh, this is about minus 70, whereas in the other place, it was more like minus 50. But still well above the noise. So to summarize, there's a few things that we've learned. The RTL SDR.com is perfectly okay as a receiver on 23 centimeters. Does drift a little bit but for casual reception and experimenting, it's fine. Antennas make a big difference. This double wire loop thing, definitely a lot better than just a telescopic rip, and even better if you can get a reflector. Simple and cheap to make, why wouldn't you do it if you at least have a partial interest in 23 centimeters? Thirdly, the handheld, the Kwangsheng UVK5, no good for receiving on 23 centimeters. Use something else instead. If you like what you heard, why not get your own genuine RTL SDR? Just click on this link and it will take you to the eBay page for the genuine product.